Alright guys, I am back with my review of American Horror Story Coven Episode 2, Boy Parts. And this one starts off with some guys out in the swamp hunting alligators. And they're dragging an alligator back to camp. And they see this weird girl snooping around all the alligator bodies. And it's Sister Mary Eunice from American Horror Story Asylum. I think her name is Misty in this season. And she's acting all weird, so they tell her to get out of here. They pull a gun on her, and she uses her witch powers to bring the alligators back to life. And they kill the swamp people. This was pretty badass. Then it cuts back to the school. And Madison apologizes to Zoe for killing her boy candy, Kyle. Um, and she says... He would have done the same thing. If he was there, he would have raped me too. And Zoe's like, no, he wouldn't. He's not like that. And then they go downstairs. We get a flashback of how Queenie, um, Precious, was actually discovered. And she was working at some chicken restaurant. And one of the customers was being a smartass to her. So she puts her hand in the grease. And then the burns appear on his body. So that was another really cool scene there. And that's how Queenie was discovered. And then some detectives show up. They got some questions for the girls at the party after the bus crash. Somehow they <laughs> tied this to them. And they're questioning Madison and Zoe um, about the wreck. And they have a picture of Zoe going into the hospital to see one of the victims. And it was that kid she had sex with and then he died. And they know about her previous boyfriend who died in the same way. So Zoe freaks out and she just tells everything. She's like, they gang raped her. She can flip buses with her mind. We're all witches here. Like, absolutely everything. <laughs> so the detectives are like, what the hell? And then Fiona comes in. Fiona has to clean up the mess. She takes these two glasses of water and spits in them and makes the police drink it and then they just hand over the evidence and leave. So she had to clean up the mess here and she goes upstairs and she's pissed off. She throws Zoe and Madison against the walls and she says the only thing they have to be afraid of is her. Wow, some really lame crap just happened in this show. Okay, so starting with the stuff that wasn't too bad, Cordelia the head teacher is having problems getting pregnant and her husband wants her to use her witch powers but she tells him it's really dark magic she doesn't feel comfortable using it and then we see Fiona talking to the slave owner I have no idea how you say this woman's name it's all in French so I'm just gonna call her Kathy Bates and Kathy Bates tells her the story about the voodoo witch and how she became immortal and how the voodoo witch hung her family members and then put her underground and then we see Madison and Zoe <laughs> this was so bad I gotta be honest here this was just bad and they go to the morgue because Madison feels like she owes Zoe for killing the head rapist so she breaks into the morgue and wants to bring Kyle back to life for Zoe. She's got this resurrection spell. But they don't want to just bring him back because he's in pieces. She wants to take the best body parts, the best legs, the best arms, and build the perfect boyfriend as some kind of freakish Frankenstein monster. And Zoe just goes along with it. So they perform this spell... <laughs> The lights start flashing, there's smoke. It looked like one of those crappy haunted house tours that come around every Halloween. It was really lame. And Zoe, they, it doesn't work at first. He's just laying there. So Madison leaves and she's outside smoking a cigarette and the security guard pulls up. So she leaves and drives off. Meanwhile, Zoe's still inside. And the security guard comes in, so Zoe runs and hides. And he sees her. He's like, what are you doing here? And then Kyle wakes up. And he's behind the security guard. And he grabs him and throws him on the table. And he just starts beating on his chest. But the thing is, 
it was so obvious he was wearing a suit. <laughs> it just looked really bad. I mean, he was wearing this huge padded suit over his regular body, and you could see like his neck, how it was normal, and then the suit start, and it just it looked really shitty. Um, so yeah, I guess Kyle is back. So Kathy Bates is upstairs. She's tied up and everything, and the clairvoyant witch hears her thoughts, and she's getting annoyed. So she goes upstairs, and she just unties her. She says, you think too loud, just leave. So Kathy Bates just walks out, and she passes Queenie, and she calls her a slave or something, and Queenie's like, who are you calling a slave? So Kathy Bates knocks her out with a candlestick. Then we see Fiona, who has found the voodoo girl. She owns a hair salon, and she goes in, and the voodoo girl immediately knows who Fiona is. She knows she's a powerful witch, so she tells her employees to leave. And apparently, voodoo practitioners and witches don't really get along. So they're kind of going back and forth here, talking shit to each other. And Fiona says she wants whatever power has kept the voodoo girl young all these years. And she has something the voodoo girl wants. But she says she doesn't want anything Fiona has to offer her. Fiona causes a small fire to start in the salon. And she says, I'll be in touch. Then we see Cordelia and her husband, and she's trying to get pregnant. So, I mean, who doesn't want to get pregnant in a satanic ritual covered with snakes? I guess that's the way to go about it if you want to have that fucking kid from the omen. But that's exactly what happens here. They have this weird spell, satanic ritual thing set up, and I guess she's pregnant now. Zoe leaves with Kyle in the security guard's car, I guess. <laughs> and he starts freaking out. And then Misty, the witch that can bring things back to life, is in the back seat. She was drawn to the area. So they go to Misty's house, and she says she can heal Kyle. So she starts rubbing the stuff on him. God, he looks so stupid. <laughs> And she says she can heal him, and then she tells Zoe about Stevie Nicks. She's a big fan of Stevie Nicks, and she says that Stevie Nicks is a witch. This is all incredibly silly. And she's never met another witch, so she really wants Zoe to come back. And Zoe says she'll come back. She's going to leave Kyle with her so that she can heal Kyle. Then we see the voodoo girl and her boyfriend who was a slave that Kathy Bates was torturing and put the bull head on. He's still alive too, except now he's part bull. How in the hell did that happen? So if the voodoo girl saved his life and gave him the immortality drink or whatever, why is he part bull now? All she did was put a bull's head on him. You could take it off of him and then give him this potion or whatever. That makes no sense at all. It's a cool concept, but there's really no way to explain this. And why would she want him to be part bull? Anyways, then we see Fiona. She finds Kathy Bates sitting in front of her old house, and she tells her if she runs away again, she's going to put her back in the box. And that's how the episode ends. So this episode... I thought was way over the top. A lot of stuff here that just I personally do not care for. Um, sometimes stuff like this will happen. Like in Asylum, the alien thing was a little goofy. And then of course the episode, the name game. I think I said enough about that in that video. But uh... Yeah, it feels like this season they're really cranking that up on the whole uh, goofy shit going down. And I'm, I'm not really a big fan of that. I hope it changes and I hope it it's more serious later on. But this feels like... I don't know what the hell this is. This feels like something you would watch on... I mean, it's more graphic for sure, but... 
it feels like some type of uh, like sci-fi bad horror movie like you see on the sci-fi channel like shark tornado or something like that um, but yeah that's uh, my review of this episode so hope you guys liked the video leave your thoughts on this episode in the comments and thanks for watching